Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Is it fall already? Top 10 fall sneakers, let's get it and let's go. Before we get started, there's no particular order that I'm showing these shoes in, all right? Oh man, oh man, we're starting this one off with a banger. For the first sneaker, I'm gonna go with the Yeezy One Nets. Now the Yeezy One has always been a super dope model in my opinion, actually one of the more comfortable sneakers when it comes to Yeezys. The quality on this pair is absolutely insane, but the reason I chose this pair was because I've never been caught wearing a pair of Tims and I don't think that that's my kind of style. All my New York people, I am sorry. Y'all make it look super dope, but I just feel like I can't be wearing it out here. So for more of a boot looking sneaker since it is fall, I like the Yeezy ones. I just feel like they look so good. The cut on these things is higher than a Jordan one, so it kind of gives that boot look if you guys are trying to go for it. Also, of course, a solid colorway in my opinion, especially when fall is kind of all around olives and tan colors. So I think this is a perfect sneaker to bust out for the first one. And I feel like I've been saying this in my past couple videos, but yes, it is hot in here. So I might break a sweat, okay? Just letting y'all know. Oh man, and for the second sneaker, we're gonna bring out some classics. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Some 2001 bread ones. The most recent release was my favorite to wear, but for some reason I ended up kind of hiding this. And I honestly kind of lost it in my collection, but I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, pretty sure I have a pair of 2001 bread ones somewhere in this mix and I ended up finding them. Once I busted these out and I looked at it in person, bro, this red right here hits so much harder than the other bread one releases. And the collar padding on this pair, Bro, absolutely insane. Now the dope part about Jordan 1's is that they're super versatile. Like you can wear it in the rain, you can wear it in the sun, in the snow, like whatever you put these shoes through, they will get you through it. All right, I feel like we need to kind of, you know, soothe everything out. I kind of hit y'all with the heat at first. My bad, my bad. So we're gonna bring it down a little bit. For the third sneaker, it's a little more subtle, but I went ahead and picked the Air Force One Lows. Now at first I wasn't a fan of the Air Force Ones because I felt like it was a really clunky sneaker, but after wearing it for a few times I kind of got the vibe of it and I got used to it so the Air Force ones have been actually my favorite shoe to wear uh, specifically the white skeleton Air Force ones but I decided to bring these out just to show you guys Air Force ones are super dope Halloween might be canceled this year but like if you want to give off those Halloween vibes these are pretty like yeah okay my favorite part about this shoe is that the bottoms glow in the dark. Oh man, these things are musty at the bottom. Pretty dope shoe, and again, leather uppers, can't go wrong with it. Get you through anything. Damn. I'm so sorry. This just shows how much I love wearing these shoes right here. Oh man. I feel like you just can't go wrong with a pair of Air Max 90s, and especially if it's like the infrared 90 colorway. This is my favorite colorway of all Air Maxes by far. This is a classic look, and the shoe is extremely comfortable. Now, I used to wear this with precaution, and I used to make sure Everything was conditioned and super clean, but honestly, this is not a bad shoe when you start wearing it and breaking them in, making them dirty. They still look pretty cool. In fall, you know, it kind of gets a little bit more chilly, so you're probably wearing some tech fleece, and this is one of those shoes that works well with tech fleece. If you're going for that cozy, kind of like jogger look, I should probably start jogging. Easier said than done. Yeah, Air Max 90s. Super fire, and if you guys are wondering what colorway this is, this is the uh, vintage colorway that they brought back. 2012. 2012, it was like the vintage. It came with the yellow midsoles and all that. My favorite release, and I think these are coming out again, so your boy's gonna have to double up. All right, let's bring some fire out again. So here we go. For the fifth spot, I'm gonna be bringing a pair of Nike SB Dunk Highs. I bought this pair a while back, and I got them for such a good price because the market price of this pair went up like crazy. So if you guys don't know what these are, these are the Ferris Bueller Dunk Highs. Now, I really enjoy this shoe, one, because of the quality of the leather. Leather sneakers, bro, you cannot go wrong with it in seasons where it rains and the weather is just kind of trying to decide where it wants to be, right? Because it's still kind of near summer and it's going into winter, so it could be really indecisive, right? So something like this will get you through it, but get you through it in style. Peep the tongue game on this one, absolutely insane. Camera shadows kind of blocking it a bit, but bro, y'all can see it. Cows are still mooing on this thing. From what I've been noticing, cream colors like this have been really trendy lately. A lot of people are trying to make their sneakers age to kind of get this cream color. So I think this works perfectly with the browns and everything like that, just tying into more of that fall vibe. Now, if y'all have been rocking with me for a while, you probably remember when I went to Saucony headquarters to design my own sneaker. Now, I'll always remember the vibes 
all the way out there in Boston. It was really chilly and we were always on the move. Whenever we would go to shoots and all that good stuff, of course we were wearing Sauconies. Whenever it gets around like fall and winter, I always kind of have that like reminiscent feel. So I always bring out a pair of Sauconies. These ones are the Kush Wacker Saucony Grid SDs. And this is my favorite model right here because one, it's super comfortable and two, it doesn't feel bulky or anything on feet. Now I feel like Saucony is super slept on, especially the older releases. They always use insane quality when it comes to their sneakers. Everything feels super buttery and I feel like for the price, this is the best bang for your buck. Next up on the list, we have a pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s. Now I picked this specific colorway just because of the olive of course, but in all honesty you can't go wrong with any pair of Jordan 6s. I feel like I'm going to wear these a lot during the fall season, but I'm also going to be wearing my black infrared 6s because I feel like that shoe just goes with everything and they look killer on feet. Y'all have seen this before, I love the glow in the dark bottoms and I think these look stupid fire. And speaking of fire, I had to bring these ones out. These are the Supreme Nike SB Blazers, man. These things are fire. I'm so glad I got these back in the day. I think I spent maybe four or 500 bucks on them. Man, it's crazy. They go for so much money now. But I think the Blazer is a really slept on model. It doesn't really have to be this colorway. Any colorway, to be honest, I think you'll be set. Even though the Blazers aren't really a super high cut shoe, I kind of get that boot vibe without it being super clunky. So that's why I like the Blazers. I've always had love for this model and I think this one has to be my favorite. That's why I had to bring these ones out again. This one really wasn't for the colorway. It was more for the model. And to wrap up the last two shoes, it wouldn't be a top 10 video if I didn't include the black cements. You already know. I don't really have to say too much about these. Incredible shoe. And I wear these things super often. Surprisingly, that midsole paint hasn't really chipped. It hasn't cracked or anything. So whatever they're using, I freaking love it. A good three years, multiple wears, no cracks. That's what's up. The last shoe I wanted to bring the Dunk Lows back into the mix. Now these are the Heineken Nike SB Dunk Lows. When I think of fall, I think of like pine trees. So I think the green is pretty dope. But again, this one really isn't for the colorway. It's more for the model of the shoe, the Dunk Lows. Again, classic, super, super comfortable. And you can even buy like a non-hyped colorway for the stupid low and they will last you forever. Literally, I think the Dunk Lows is one of the most durable shoes and long lasting shoes that you'll ever buy. So that's why I stand with Nike SB and I mess with them heavily. So that's gonna conclude everything. My top 10 fall sneakers. Let me know what you guys think about my rotation and let me know what you guys are wearing this fall in the comment section down below. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, make sure you're following me at Sneakerhead in the Bay. And if you guys want to check out my website it's at shopsoltopia.com sneaker cleaners coming soon i also have a lot of products coming soon as well so stay on the lookout all right i'll see you guys very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out peace blueberry burberry button tan skin mixed race buttercup canada weather got a bundle up i'm trying to worry she hit my phone she wanna whoa too bad was you know they wrong